Hello, this is the Bible in Fewer Words. We are Carol and Steve Wells. This is episode 230, Zechariah, chapters 1 through 4. Hi, Steve. Hi, Carol. I hear we're in for some visions today. Yes, we are. How many? We have eight visions. Can we handle eight visions? I think so. All right. Last time we had Haggai. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about rebuilding God's house and the temple. And so it's going to be kind of involved with that. Okay. Let's go. Chapter 1. The word of God came unto Zechariah in the eighth month, in the second year of Darius, saying, Turn to me, and I'll turn to you. Don't be like your fathers. Where are your fathers now? Do prophets live forever? You know, I've seen a lot of people who were unstable, uh-huh. <laughs> and that's how they talk. Yeah. Verse 7. The word of God came upon Zechariah again, saying, I, Zechariah, saw a man on a red horse, and a man standing by myrtle trees, and behind him were red horses speckled with white. Verse 10. A man by the myrtle tree said, God has sent them to walk around on earth. They said, We have walked around on earth, and the earth sits still and is at rest. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. God's angel said, God, how long will you not have mercy on Jerusalem and the cities of Judah? With whom have you been angry for 70 years? God answered the angel with good and comfortable words. The angel said to me, This is what God says I'm jealous for Jerusalem. And I'm disappointed with the heathen. I'm returning to Jerusalem, where I'll build my house. Weren't we already in Jerusalem before? And God was complaining that his house was too small. Yeah. All right, so this is a little bit of backtracking and a different story. You know, it's a vision of horses and stuff, and they've got some conversation, which is hard to make much of. Okay. But we're done with that. Then I saw four horns. I said to the angel, what are these? He said, They are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And God showed me four carpenters. I said to God, What are they going to do? And God said, They will cast out the horns of the Gentiles, whose horns scattered Judah. Okay. (laughs) Chapter 2. I saw a man with a measuring line in his hand. I said to him, Where are you going? He said, To measure Jerusalem. Then another angel came to meet him and said, God will be a wall of fire around Jerusalem and will be the glory in the middle of the city. God said, Ho, ho, flee from the land of the north. Deliver yourself, O Zion, who lives with the daughter of Babylon. Whoever touches you touches the apple of my eye, and I'll shake my hand at them. So I'm having a hard time investing any time and energy in really trying to figure out what's going on here. Well, I I wouldn't. Okay, good. (laughs) I don't think it's possible. I don't think anyone ever has or could. But these are the eight visions of Zechariah, Mm -hmm. and they're kind of famous, and we need to get through them. All right. So I think the next one's the fourth vision. Mm -hmm. Chapter 3. Then I saw the high priest Joshua and Satan at his right hand to resist him. God said to Satan, Satan, I rebuke you. Isn't this a stick pulled out of the fire? Now Joshua's clothes were filthy as he stood before the angel. The angel said to those who were standing by Joshua, Take off his filthy clothes. Then the angel told Joshua, I've taken away your iniquity, and I'll give you some new clothes. I, Zechariah, said, Put a mitre on his head. So they put a mitre on his head, and put some clothes on him. Yay! (laughs) (laughs) Verse 6. Then the angel said, This is what God says. I'll bring forth my servant, Branch. The stone I laid in front of Joshua has seven eyes. On that day, you'll call everyone your neighbor who sits under a vine or a fig tree. Yeah, this Branch guy? Mm -hmm. This is where the Branch Davidians get their name. Oh. There's another verse where branch is used again. Mm-hmm. But branch is supposed to be something from Special. The, yeah. And uh, <laughs> David Koresh thought he was the branch. 
Okay. Chapter 4. An angel woke me from my sleep and said, What do you see? I said, I see a gold candlestick and a bowl on top of it and seven lamps on top of the bowl and two olive trees, one on each side of the bowl. I said to the angel, What are these? The angel said, This is a message from God to Zerubbabel, saying, Not by power, but by my spirit. Who are you, great mountain? You will become a plain in front of Zerubbabel, and the headstone will shout and say, Grace to it. Then the word of God came to me again and said, Zerubbabel will finish building this house. The seven lamps are the eyes of God, which run to and fro through the whole earth. I said, What are the two olive trees next to the candlestick? And what are the olive branches with the gold pipes and oil coming out of them? He said, These are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of all the earth. Chapter 5. <laughs> so did just... you notice there that they had the seven, was it seven lamps? Yes. And those are the eyes of God. So God, so God has seven eyes. What bug has seven eyes? <laughs> <laughs> well, spiders have eight. <laughs> Chapter 5. I, Zechariah, saw a flying scroll. An angel said to me, What do you see? I said, I see a flying scroll, 20 cubits long and 10 cubits wide. Ooh, that's a big scroll. <laughs> that's a very big scroll. He said to me, This is a curse over the whole earth. God will bring this curse to the house of every thief and liar. The curse will burn its wood and stone. Then the angel said to me, What do you see now? I said, What is it? And he said, It's a basket. So is that guy blind or something? <laughs> <laughs> it always happens that way, that the angel shows him something, and he, and he says, What is this? What do you, or, the, or the angel says, What do you see? Uh-huh. Yeah. The basket had a heavy lead lid with a woman sitting inside. Oh, a big basket. Yeah. <laughs> the angel said, this is wickedness. And he closed the basket's lead lid on the woman's mouth. Then two women with stork-like wings lifted up the basket. I asked the angel, where are they taking the basket? The angel said, to build a house in Shinar. Shinar, that's the same place that they were going to build the Tower of Babel. Mm-hmm. Now we're at chapter 6. The last vision. I saw four chariots coming between two brass mountains. Each chariot was pulled by horses of different colors. Red, black, white, and gray spotted. I said to my angel companion, What are these? He said, They are the four spirits of heaven, who are sent from the Lord of all the earth. The black and white horses go north, and the spotted go south. The horses went forth to walk to and fro on the earth. The angel cried out, saying, The horses going north have quieted my spirit in the north country. The word of God came to me, saying, Put silver and gold crowns on Joshua's head, and say to him, A man called Branch will build God's temple. He will be a priest and rule upon his throne. Chapter 7 the word of God came to Zechariah, saying, Judge truthfully and show mercy and compassion to everyone. Don't oppress widows, orphans, strangers, or poor people. And don't wish evil on other people. Isn't that nice? Chapter 7 from Zechariah is nice. Eh? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Of course, I only took a few verses out of there, but that was... <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was generally there's nothing in the chapter except for nice stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Chapter 8. The word of God came to me again and said, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy and fury. I forced everyone to fight against their neighbors. Verse 16. But these are the things that you should do. Speak truthfully and seek justice and peace. Don't wish evil on your neighbors and don't make false oaths. Love truth and peace. In those days, ten men will grab the skirt of a Jew, saying, we're going with you because God is with you. Hmm. Ten men. Eight visions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff, wasn't it? Uh-huh. But um, what strikes me about this is that there's not too much about God saying, 
I'm going to kill you with swords and all your intestines will come out and you'll be pooping and you'll be, you know. Yeah, you, wait until the next episode. Oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, great. I should say that the book of Zechariah is thought to have been written by at least two different authors. Uh -huh. The first eight chapters, that which, which we just read, yeah. were written by one. They had a particular style to them. They had a series of visions. Mm -hmm. They were written in a way that scholars think were written by one author. Okay. But the second half... Chapters 9 through 14, which we're going to cover next time, are thought to have been written by someone else. All yeah. right. We'll have and to look for a different style. They're quite different. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, listeners, thanks for staying with us. And Steve, thank you for your help. <laughs> sure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.